We're going to start off by securing the wheelchair using the front straps. The front straps are a webbing with buckle and tongue and a clip on the bottom. When you put the clip into the track, the most important thing is you don't touch the red plunger. You put the clip into the track by tipping it slightly forward, pushing down, the plunger will lift up, go forward, you'll hear it click, you know that's located. You need to put the clip in the other side, the most important put in the other side is to make sure the clip is opposite in the track. So we put the clip into the track again, pushing down, hearing it click, we know it's in. We then have to secure the strap onto the wheelchair, onto what we call the main frame. The main frame is where the horizontal and vertical bar will meet. The strap will be undone, come from inside to out, tongue back into the buckle. Do the same for the other side, again, inside to out, around, back into the buckle. The front straps are non-adjustable, so we have to put tension on. We come to the rear of the wheelchair, we release the brakes, pull the wheelchair back towards you, then put the brakes back on. We're now going to secure the rear of the wheelchair. We have a combined system, so the passenger harness here and the wheelchair restraint are all combined off of one unit. We take hold, we put the clip into the track, again making sure you hear it click. We now have to attach the strap onto the main frame of the wheelchair. To, uh, in order to do the strap we need to undo this buckle. This is called an over centre buckle. You press the red bar upwards to release. The carabiner needs to be placed on the main frame at a 45 degree angle. You take hold of the loose webbing, you pull it down, hold it tight, start to close the buckle. When you've come halfway over the buckle, release the web in, two hands, close. Do the same for the other side. Open the buckle, attach the hook, pull down tight. Wheelchair is secured. We're now going to put the passenger harness on. So we have a passenger in our wheelchair. Take hold of the passenger harness and it is colour coded for ease of use. Black for the lap, blue for the shoulder. They're all split rails, so to put on, the ease of use is to split the reel, concentrate on the black and the lap part first. We're going to come around the outside of the person. The lap belt will either come underneath the armrest or down through the gap in the wheelchair. Place it underneath, come under the other side, put the tongue into the buckle, and gently lower the lap belt into the lap. Come into the rear. Take all of the blue webbing out of the reel, squeeze the top of that clunk clip together to lock it on. This will uh, stop the webbing retreat, retracting back into the reel. Take hold of the webbing, place it over the shoulder of the person, underneath the armrest again, and back into the lap belt. There is no tension on this belt at present. Take hold of the webbing, hold it tight, release the clunk clip. Let the webbing retract back into the reel. For comfort, take hold of the webbing, lift it a little bit out of the reel, squeeze the clunk clip back in, taking the tension just off of the shoulder. That's how to secure the person in the wheelchair. Now when it comes to taking the passenger harness off, again do it in reverse. We'll start with the blue, we release the tongue from the buckle, we come underneath, Remove the clunk clip and gently put the webbing back into the reel. Come to the black, come underneath the armrest, coming to here, come as low as you can to the body, just let it go, come from behind, retrieve, and always put them back together. All of our passenger harnesses come with a floating tongue. This has been used in conjunction with the cart rail system and a third point fixing. We place that into the track. Undo the tongue from the buckle, bring the floating tongue up and attach it to the buckle. The buckle is adjustable so that the tongue should be roughly approximately two inches off the shoulder and just behind the ear of the person. This gives you the same type of fixings you have in your car.